Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you an album I made using the Authentique Life is a Picnic collection line. So the covers are chipboard, and for this picnic basket I pulled a file from my silhouette, and this handle and trim are from the same silhouette file I just, and they're from the same actual basket weave paper, I just mounted them on a thin chipboard and stained them with a stain just so it would have a different look. I wanted the handle and trim to have a different look than the rest of the basket. The strawberries are also from a silhouette file. The flowers and butterflies in the album are from Petaloo. The ribbon I got at Hobby Lobby that had a bunch of different colors of, of gingham ribbon, ribbon that matched the paper line perfectly and also in this um, collection there is a very odd color yellow it's almost a greenish yellow and I found this bow bunny uh, package that had a bunch of different lace and trims and this yellow lace was in there I don't even know which color it was or the name of it and it had this ribbon that matched perfectly with this odd color yellow so that was a real fine there Uh, this page here, I used the picnic banner from the sticker sheet, and I mounted it on foam tape and drew in these little dash lines by hand, just to distinguish it from this white paper in the back. And I absolutely love, love, love this ant paper. Uh, these flowers here, are the fabric flowers in this album are from Queen & Company, and they match absolutely perfect with this line also. The ladybugs I got at Walmart. The ladybug buttons I should say. Now each page is made from a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock paper. I got the tutorial from Claire at My Creative Spirit and she makes um, a 12 by 12 um, fold out pocket page so there's a double pocket on each side and there's a pocket on the top. And I made my pages a little different. She had she had a another fold over so the the pages folded up and then down into a into a V and so the pocket here was exposed. But I just skipped that step and folded mine into a one full sheet. So each, each um, top pocket has a fold-out mat, and each side, the inside's not matted, but each side outside is matted to match the paper, depending on which side of the page you're pulling it from. And then this is the first pocket mat to match this side. Then we flip the page over, and... So again, this matches this side here. And then this pocket. And these tabs I cut out from the silhouette. So this is a journaling card that I made to look like a little seed packet. There's actually seeds in there. Petaloo flowers and Hobby Lobby ribbon. So here's, again, the top fold out mat and then this first sorry this first pocket mat and then this one here uh, the oh my gosh the journaling cards are just darling and the die cuts this collection is just so pretty and it's just so fun to work with uh, sticker sheet um, this little tab came from the sticker sheet these are from the die punch outs they have a 6 by 12 punch out sheet. Um, Queen and Company flowers again. And this tab here, I have to show you. This is from the sticker sheet, and it's a double sticker. There's a little sticker inside this location shaped You Are Here sticker, I guess is what you call it. So before I stuck that onto this page, what I did is I traced it onto the gingham paper and cut that out 
and there's there's a ladybug page paper that had a bunch of little round ladybugs on it and I used a half inch circle punch and cut out that ladybug to make it match this sticker so this is the sticker and this is what I cut to make it match the sticker uh, this is a little frame here so you just slide and I must have got glue on it it's not sliding out but it did it, a little uh, picture you can put your photo in there and then slide that out and these are stickers from the sticker sheet there was two of them so I just mounted them back to back to make that tab So here's the fold out. Oh, and here's that ladybug paper. So this is what I used to punch that out. And I also used it to punch these little, I guess you could call them buttons, paper buttons out. And then I just used a larger punch to punch out the black cardstock. This is a raised on foam sticker. And uh, the sticker, this is also sticker mounted on foam tape. Uh, this doily I punched out, uh, I think it's a two and a half inch circle punch to mount in the center of the doily. On this tab here, this is from the punch out element sheet and there's a red one on the other side. So this one matches when you're looking at it from this side. I took some of that bow bunny lace and, and gathered it into a circle to make a little flower here. And again, punched out this to fit the center of the doily. So just some pom-pom trim. And here's the mat, photo mat for this pocket. Get this one out of the way. And the photo mat for this, this is the last pocket page. So I made a belly band here with some paper and a sticker from the sticker sheet that mounted onto foam tape. This is just one of the journaling cards. On the last back cover um, I just I got these buttons at Hobby Lobby and just glued them in the center of the paper and this is a sticker from the sticker sheet mounted on foam tape and one of the punch outs from the punch out sheet on the back. So that's my Life is a Picnic album and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.